DVDs. I already talked about the excessive packaging and security stickers, but there's so much more wrong with them. With any TV series or movie sequel sold together, they're guaranteed to fuck it up. The first issue is the packaging. It seems like a game. How many boxes can we fit the DVDs inside? Do we really need all this? And second, this is the James Bond series. Why couldn't it start with the first movie and work its way to the end? Was there any reason to rearrange them in any order they please? A regular consumer might not even be aware of the order. So here's what I do. Throw the boxes in the garbage and fix the DVDs in the right order. Now that's the way it should be. Besides, don't you like the convenience of grabbing a DVD off the shelf? When are you ever going to want to cover them up in boxes? Another thing that can be confusing about box sets is when not all the movies are owned by the same company. This is the Bruce Lee set. Would you believe there's no Enter the Dragon, but instead Game of Death 2? I mean, come on, he's not even in that movie except for stock footage. Even the DVD itself has the balls to claim it stars Bruce Lee. Everybody knows he never completed the first game of death. It's false advertising that persists to this very day. If you're buying a box set with intentions of owning all movies in that franchise, you need to have prior knowledge or do the research beforehand to know exactly what you're getting. Box sets are bullshit. Here's another thing I hate, those little snap things. What's the point? The DVD shuts fine just without those. Break them the fuck off. That would be like putting them on a CD jewel case or a book. You don't need them. I also hate how many versions of DVDs get released. We have the rated edition, unrated edition, special edition, ultimate edition, collector's edition. Knock it the hell off! But what pisses me off the most is when there's a full screen and a widescreen edition. Unless you pay attention, you might be suckered into buying the full screen. There's no reason the full screen should even exist, and if it should, make it the other side, not its own DVD. It's bullshit. Now you want to talk about region coding? So what if I buy a perfectly legal DVD in one part of the world and want to watch it somewhere else? What if I travel a lot? All these rules treat the customer like a fucking animal. Better keep your eye on those animals, put up an electric fence, give the dog a shock collar... They might be bad. Have you ever looked at all the tiny logos found on a DVD? Most of it's pretty useless information. But where's the runtime? That's what I'd like to know. It's not on the disc, not on the box, not on the individual DVD case, and not in the booklet. Gee, runtime? Why would I ever want to know that? How about if I have an appointment, or there's a show coming on, or I'm just planning to go to bed soon? I don't know. Is it such a taboo thing for me to know how long the movie is before I watch it? Most DVDs seem to have them, but they're in such tiny print, they're so hard to find, and they're always in minutes. Just a minor complaint, but look, 153 minutes. Why can't it just say 2 hours, 33 minutes? That's like if I say I'll see you in a week, I don't say I'll see you in 168 hours. The worst I've seen, sometimes if there's more than one movie, they just add the total runtime of all the movies. 325 minutes.